new ideas, new discussions. Is your mic on? Check that. Who's up next, podcast? Who's up next? Who's up next? We are looking for emerging artists. We're looking for talent who wants to interview with us, who want to have their videos seen on our video shows on public access television. I just got paid for the last interview I did. Mm -hmm. I got paid. I heard you know we're gonna do a quick one. It's yeah, just so for I, public access. Now so like, that's my life. I heard you, <laughs> I and, and we on, no we on. We so in. go in. Tell me, man, where you from? I'm from Atlanta, but it's ladies first, you know. Just we got to speak. Yeah, so okay, so you know this. Yeah, I'm a gentleman. So I just wanted to know. I'm from Atlanta. I'm star seed. I got to go first because she's the lady. Take on another level. Can't hear it. 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 Ladies first, welcome to Who's Up Next. My name is Aaron the Baron. Uh, I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I am a promoter, brand ambassador, marketer, salesman, um, and I'm also a host of a podcast that's on Anchor.fm and uh, we're on all channels. So this is going to be heard on most uh, listening devices. Now, please. Introduce yourself. Uh, Jessica, I'm also known as the Queen of Intention. Thanks for having me today, Aaron. Um, this is oh, what yeah. I oh, do. Okay, okay, gotcha. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. We grow trees in Brooklyn. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we need the trees, right? That's right. Shout out to the trees. Well, yeah, I just want to share a little bit about myself. Uh, like Starcy was saying, we, we're both AT aliens. I, I consider myself a world citizen by way of Florida, by way of Cuba, by way of Dominican Republic. So I'm a, I'm a little everywhere with it. And um, I, as a profession and my, I guess my area of expertise, I would say is um, I'm a musician. That's first and foremost. I'm an educator. And I really believe in the practices of mental health. Or you can email us at mobilecity so at gmail.com. Yo, you can hit us up at Apple City or at wow, my local city that. on tape. Yeah. That's something that uh, I was looking into myself. Uh, right. So right. I haven't done it because I think it's a practice that takes a lot of uh, dedication. I, I see that, and I'm noticing as someone who's been meditating daily now for a little over a year and a half, um, and I was off and on with it from over 10 years ago, off and on, because like you said, I felt like I needed that practice. I'm here to educate the masses on how just one, two, three minutes a day can really lead you into a, a better place of mental wellness and clarity. So yeah, that's that's my purpose. What do you focus on when you meditate? Curious. <sighs> well, really, it's just where you are, where you are that day. And sometimes, you know, I can't get the thoughts to stop. Other times I can, and that's when it's more blissful. So I think meditation is really about accepting where you are and being with that and being okay with that. If you're upset that day, then you're upset. You got to deal with that. You got to deal with you. If you're feeling so, so happy and you want to bask in that, then bask in the joy. If you're neutral, just be neutral. But it's really just the art of being. Wherever you are, just be. So as an artist, do you think meditation helps you? That's the name of the artist that you was hearing earlier on the album. His name is just Practice Meditation on this side. Uh, all the way around. This is how I even manifested this is this is how she even manifested me because we were raising our frequency and vibration at a similar time and we aligned. If you get where I'm where I'm at. No, I understand. Yeah. No, I really do. I started tapping into meditation uh heavy in twenty nineteen. It really started I learned to practice in twenty seventeen. I had a powerful coach in mind, played some NFL ball powerful manifester, powerful motivational speaker, very powerful brother. He ascended, you know what I mean? And that pushed me into my spiritual journey real heavy. So that's how I began my journey and I continued it and it got to the point where uh, like, like I said, from that point on, I've been meditating daily, but it got to the point where like in 20, 
21, I took my first college coaching job and I had my first space to myself, you know, so I'm like, I got my own house, I'm cool, like, now I'm really going to meditate, now I'm really going to see what it's like, I went and bought an orange coat, I really transformed my mind to be a Buddha, like, in that house, like, I'm wearing all orange, and I'm meditating for hours to start my day, like, two, three, four hours, like, every day, like, because I like, That's dedication. I Googled it, right? Yeah. Them people over there meditate eight hours out of their 24 hours. Hmm. Right. Eight. They sitting there silent, using celebrity, talking to each other for eight hours. I'm like, oh, my Native American indigenous self, like, hold on, I need to tap in. Like, they over there practicing our practices that we taught them to practice. Let me tap in, like, at least for my people. I know it's like 100,000. Rocking it's hard to do I'm it in New York. It. It's hard to do it in the big city. It's, it's hard serious, to do it a lot in the music on. business. It's, it's hard to do it as uh, someone who's creative because your your mind is always focused on something new. And then when you're focusing on something new, you can't focus on that one. Your breath. And that's what it is. When your I breath. meditate, when I teach people how to meditate, because now I'm considered a meditation coach. I went and got my certificate and license as a metaphysical trainer and all that. Been doing all that work, getting the, the documentation, because it's like now this is a practice that I actually practice and I'm actually a professional in some people's eyes. So I'm like, let me get let me get right on paper too. So it actually is just you listening to your breath. That's all it is. If you sit down, close your eyes and um, yeah, I'm Star City. I'm from Atlanta, man. I make music. I am a meditation coach. I am, I am that I am. You know, I, I work with the conscious beings. And how can they reach you? Holistic Hiller. You can. Go on Instagram. You can, you know, DM me. Star C Greatness on Instagram. I made a new page specifically for New York. Nice. They, they hacked my old page. I started talking about ayahuasca. I started filming my drum ceremonies and drum circles and stuff. And Dr. Sabi and stuff. So they did that. So I'm restarting. And before we go, what is your name? And tell us how they can reach you. So I'm the queen of attention. I'm Jessica, and you can find me. My podcast is called The Healing Framework. So this is on Spotify and Apple. Just look up The Healing Framework, and you guys can find me on IG, Love and Light Warrior 369. The whole thing spelled out, Love and Light Warrior 369. Who's up next? All right, let's go into some music, and we're going to close it out. Let's do that. I also got a podcast too called Star Seed Positive Affirmation. All right, they can find you everywhere, Anchor right? FM everywhere like that, type that. Excellent. So I need everyone to wake up and put on their crown. Star Seed.